Hey, Santa Fox fam, have you gotten your Esme sweatshirt yet? If you haven't, go to savafox.org and click Fox Shop. Okay, so today I thought I would do a tour because I don't think I've ever done a winter tour of Save a Fox. And Mouse wants to help. She here with me. Oh, did you pee on the floor? Thanks. Got a little mouse piddle. So Mouse has been staying in the house because it is too cold for her outside. There you go. So I will show you guys Mouse's room first. She might follow me, we'll see. So this is Mouse and Waverly's room, sometimes Kipper's room. We switch, we switch Kipper back and forth from Finnegan's yard to um, Waverly's yard because he likes everybody. So this is just the bedroom that they get called into at night. This is where Mouse and Waverly and sometimes Kipper sleep. That's their door to go out to their fox yard. So the other guys are outside right now, of course. So we are going upstairs right now to the cat room. I have my little wall of fox pictures and souvenirs that people have sent me. This one is so good, look at that. I get a lot of questions asking, um, like, do I live here at the sanctuary? And yes, I do live here in this house at the sanctuary. No, I don't do all of it on my own. Um, when I originally founded Save a Fox Rescue, it was kind of just like a hobby of mine. And then it grew to be so much bigger than I could ever imagine. So <laughs> we have a lot of people that help us and I'm so grateful to all of them and all the employees who work for Save a Fox. If you want to learn more about them, definitely um, join our Patreon account because I know they recently did a like, hey, meet me type thing on there. So, <sighs> I forget to breathe when I talk sometimes. <laughs> so now we're in the cat room. Um, that's currently what this room is. This room has been a lot of different rooms. Um, haven't changed the labels yet, but here we have Schizo. Hey, Schizo. So I've had Schizo longer than um, any other animal here, besides the reptiles, actually. Mammal. Right? Of the mammals, I've had you the longest. Um, we have Agatha sleeping. She's our oldest girl. She's a rescue. And no. she's 18 years old and she can't hear very well. You're such a good girl. And hi, Skits. This is Jasmine's room. Jasmine is our pet surrender skunk. So we only shut the animals in their rooms, um, like the cats or the skunk, when the mink are having house. The mink are pretty vicious animals, so they can take down other animals three times their size. So when the mink have playtime, everybody else goes away, even the foxes, because mink versus one fox, the mink would probably win. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go outside next. I filled this thing full of fox treats because we had so many treat donations from all the bark boxes they got. So I figured I'd go around and give everybody a little snack and then you guys can see everyone too. So win-win for everyone. So we're gonna step out into Finnegan Fox's yard first. <laughs> Mouse is waiting for another treat. Hey, hold on, I'll get you one. There you go. Good girl. And no, Mouse unfortunately isn't potty trained. So as you see, we have no carpet in the house. So we do um, mopping and bleaching daily <laughs> of the floors. All right, who wants treats? Treat, treat, treat. Finnegan. Finnegan, you want treat? Wow, really? Where's everyone else? Foxes, 
treat, 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 treat. I knew you'd come. I knew I could depend on you to get a treat, Finnegan. Look at how thick he's looking. That is his winter coat. And here's Dixie. Hi, Dixie. Here. Here you go. Do you want this? Finnegan does. Hi. Where is Vixie and Matthias? Are they sleeping somewhere? Hi, you. Everybody loves Finnegan Fox. Right, Finn? You're popular? Do you know that? Do you know how popular you are? I don't think you do. Well, the other ones must be hiding, so maybe we'll see them when we come back this way. Oh, look at the stretch. Oh, yawn. Yoga Fox! Yoga Fox! Dixie! Are you a good girl? All right, we'll go over and see Shadow. There she is. Hi. Hi, you excited? Whoa. Where's Bongo? I bet he's sleeping too. Hi, you want a treat? I wonder if Nikita, our gray fox, will come out. Nikita, do you want a treat? She usually hides under the fox cages during the day. Nikita, treat! There's Bongo. Here you go. You want a treat? Wow. Unimpressed by treats today, you guys. That's new. Must be the change of weather, huh? Or you're just being shy. There's D'Amica, the gray fox. He won't let me come near him ever since I got him neutered. He's been pretty mad at me, so. D'Amica, I just want to give you treats. Okay, I'll leave some in your spot. Shadow, are you gonna eat all his treats? <laughs> are you gonna eat all his treats, probably? Can't say I didn't try, right? There's Kipper and Waverly. Hi guys. You want treats? Of course. Hi. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Whoa. I thought we've been working on being gentle, Waverly. Gentle. That's not gentle. That's very snappy. Acting like a wild animal. <laughs> You're acting like a wild animal. Here you go. Putting them in the snow. Because you're being bitey. Hi, Kipper. Hi, Kipper. Oh, look, we have our squirrel friend over here. So, yes, Liv is a wild squirrel. She is not caged. This actually goes, she can go right out into the real world through those little ramp systems. And the reason we do this is so we can safely feed her without the foxes eating her. Because we don't want the foxes to eat our squirrel friend. Do we live? Do we? So she, she might be making a nest in here this year because she's been spending a lot of time in here. By choice. Yeah. 
You guys want more treats? Okay, I suppose I have plenty. You gotta pick them out of the snow though. Go see some other foxies. Okay, these are our new fur farm rescues, so they probably won't take treats out of my hand, so I'll just leave a couple in there for them. I'm pretty sure I've given you lots of treats, Shadow, because you're sitting so pretty. Is this not good enough for you? I'm sorry. Love you. Hello, new friends. I have treats. You don't know what that word means yet, but you will soon. You want to try it? Okay, I'll leave them over here. Now you got treats. All right, main fox yard. Guys ready for treats? Hi, you want treats? Wait, wait, I only have one hand. There you go. Where's Jack? Jack, you want a treat? Oh, there he is. Jack! Treat! He's gonna take his sweet old time. Oh, wait, look, we got a trot. Hi! Do you want a treat? Hi, you guys. I'm gonna give treats to you, too. Hi, it's okay. It's okay. Do you want this? Yes, I know. It's very scary. I'll leave them right there. I know. Treats terrifying. Look at, they got the treats, too. Here, there's more. All the poor fur farm foxes are still freaked out. Everything's so new for them. Hi. Miss Curiosity. She's probably the most open of all of them. The most curious and approachable, right? I got something for you and it's called a treat. Here. Treat. These are treats. Treats. Good girl. And the shy boy is still hiding in the box. You never want to pressure a fox, that's for sure. So we'll let him take his own time to warm up. All right, let's go see Pan and Sophie. Oh, look. Are you gonna... Oh, you're eating it. She feels comfortable enough to eat it in front of me. Oh. So cute.
Mr. Valentine. There's Pan and Sophie. Hey guys. So I always try to make sure to mention this in every video. You see that some of the foxes are in cages and some are out in the yard. Well, what we do here is as soon as we get foxes acclimated to us and trained, we are able to let them out and let them have yard time. But it always takes a little bit of time when a fox first comes in so we can train them to come back because we put them all in their enclosures at night for safety reasons. But all right, Pan Sophie. Hi. Hey, I have treats. Pan always likes to pee on the treats, don't you? What's this? Oopsies. You want a treat? Here, do you want one too? There you go. Good girl. So Sophie is doing great. She's coming around very quickly. I saw it in her right away. I knew she would be a good pet fox just because of how curious she was and just ready. Just ready to come home to save a fox, right? So she will be coming out of the fox cage very soon because she knows what treat means and she comes for treat now. Sophie! Oh, she found another one. Sophie, you want a treat? Good girl. And treat is the magic word here. That's how we get the foxes to go back in their cages at night. And that's when we give them their raw. Okay, I'll leave these these ones for you guys to find. Hey guys! Mal and Esme coming in. Come on guys, you want treats? You want treats? And look at this beautiful pond. Our aquascape ecosystem pond. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. Let me open it. My hands are getting cold, so I'm just gonna dwarf them out. Oh my gosh, it's raining treats. You guys are so cute! And here's Archie. Archie won't be with us too much longer because he's going to Arctic Fox daily to live. We don't currently have any other Arctic Fox except for Archie, so this is the best for Archie. Here, I'm gonna put a treat here, okay? The treats? Oh, treats. Okay, buddy. Here's Duchess and Archer. Hi, I have treats. Ooh, through the tunnel, fancy. I'm coming in. Have to go through Malachi's yard first, so let's stop and see him. Hi. Whoa, Mal. Hi. You want treats? You want treats? Do you want treats? Do you want treats? Where's Skeeter? Skeeter, quit hating on me. Come here. Skeeter is so funny. She reminds me of this female fox I had named Tanya. And Tanya never liked me in the winter time. <laughs> She's fine every other season. But I never got to touch her for like the six months that it was winter. She's acting very much like a female fox right now. Ooh, are you gonna come get treats? 
Come on. Come on. Treat treats. Treat treats. Hi, it's okay. Skeeter. Skeeter, look at you. Ooh, treats. Good girl. Skeeter and Malachi will be leaving us soon too because they're getting adopted together. Skeeter here was originally just being boarded with us and through that process Skeeter and Malachi fell in love. So now she's going to be adopting both of them. I'm really happy for them, but I'll miss Mal. Mal pal. Mal pal. Come here. Come here. Come here. I can't get you. I can't get you. Okay, guys. I know you've been waiting. The last foxes. Hi. You want treats? Oh, I can barely feel my fingers. Okay, I'm just gonna toss them like confetti, okay? Treats! <laughs> Gives them something to do. Very cute, you two. Hi, Duchess. Sure, I'll hand feed you one. There you go. Boop. You guys good foxes? Skeeter's picking through the snow for the other ones. <laughs> Alright, let's go see Dakota Coyota. There's Dakota next to our horses Trinity and Essie. Hey guys. Oh my gosh, are you so excited? So excited! Oh my goodness! Do you see him? Is he acting crazy? Huh? Okay, I'm coming. Oh my gosh, Dakota, you gotta let me open it. You gotta let me open it, hold on. Okay, they're coming out. <laughs> there you go. Good boy. Did you get treats? Did you get treats? Oh my goodness, you got treats. You got treats, oh my gosh. Hi. All right, we can't forget the horses. We gotta give the horses treats too. Hi, I got you a treat. You're welcome. Hi. This is Trinity. And then Essie is over here somewhere. Whoa. Dark. Hi, Essie. Do you want a treat? Oh, this is getting difficult. There you go. Now, they got different treats than the foxes, of course. They're like apple, apple something? Apple biscuits. We'll just go with that, right? Apple biscuits. Come here. <laughs> oh. 
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Thank you so much for supporting Save the Fox Rescue, and have a great day. Bye.